So I want to show you how to add mixed numbers now. So to start off, we're going to do some basic addition problems and subtraction problems, and then I'm going to show you when it when there are additional steps you have to take. Now the reason I write it up and down is because the strategy I use, you it's easier to write it up and down. So naturally, the first steps are to add the whole numbers and then add the pieces. So here's a visual for you to see. So I show two and one half and one and one half. And the question is, what is it added together? Like what's the sum? And so your first thought is to, your first step is to add all the whole pieces together. So that would be three. So on here, you would do the same thing. You would do two plus one is three whole pieces. Then your next step is to add the small pieces. So then right here, you take that and then you put that one there and you notice that it makes one whole. So when you do one half plus one half on the side, you know to add the top numbers only. So that's two halves. Well, two halves is equivalent to one. So it's easier to do this. Just make it one whole and then your answer is four. And if you look at the visual, we have one, two, three, four whole pieces. Okay, let's look at another example. Two and three fourths plus one and one fourth. So here is the visual. Two and three fourths plus one and one fourth. So the first step is add the whole numbers. And as you can see, I have three whole numbers now, three whole pieces. So looking at this, we also see that. Okay. Then the next step is to add the little pieces together and see if you can create one whole from it. And from that, you can see that. And so when you add 3 fourths plus 1 fourth, I usually show it sideways. So my scholars can see that, because we're used to adding fractions sideways. So 3 fourths plus 1 fourth is 4 fourths. Well, 4 fourths is equal, equivalent to 1 whole. So 3 plus 1 equals 4 whole pieces. And looking at that, that's exactly what we have. 1, 2, 3, and then this one got replaced as 1 whole. Okay, let's look at this next example. 1 and 4 fifths plus 1 and 2 fifths. So... I'm going to go ahead and um, do as much as I can using the steps, and then you're going to see that there's an additional step you have to take. So step one is add up all the whole numbers. So one plus one is two whole. Then step two is add the small pieces. So four fifths plus two fifths equals six fifths. And so we notice that doesn't equal one whole. That's what happened in the last two examples, but in this one it won't work. So let's look at the visual. So again, step one was add the whole pieces. So there's the two whole pieces. And then step two was add the small pieces. So we had four fifths plus two fifths. And we got six fifths in that process. Now, we know that five fifths equals one whole. Okay, now I have six fifths right now, but if I'm aware that five fifths equal one whole, I'm actually going to subtract those five fifths from those from the six fifths. So what am I left with? I'm left with one fifth. Okay, stay with me. So this uh, row of fifths is now one whole. I have taken out one uh, one whole from this six fifths. So I am adding a whole piece to this now. So I now have three whole pieces. Look, one, two, three. So I had um, two already, and now I'm adding one more, so now I have three. Now, in that process, we had one-fifth left over. So this one-fifth goes right here. So I have one, two, three whole and one-fifth. And that is my answer. Now, back to this. I had six fifths. So that's when you have to take out five fifths. That five fifths goes right here. So you make it a whole piece. Six fifths minus five fifths equals one fifth left over. Your leftover goes right there.
okay? I'm going to keep doing more examples so you can get the hang of this. Okay, so let's look at another example. 2 and 5 sixths plus 1 and 3 sixths. So step 1 is count all the whole pieces. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 whole I know I have for sure. Then step 2 is add the little pieces. So I have 5 sixths plus 3 sixths. Okay, let's just stop right there and let's look at the manipulatives. 2 and 5 sixths plus 1 and 3 sixths. Step one is add up all the whole pieces. Step two is add all the extra pieces, or the little pieces. So five six plus three six equals eight six. Okay, that's what I have right here. Now, if you have one whole and you have sixths, how many sixths does it take to make one whole? The answer is six. You have to have six out of six to make one whole. And I'm able to do that with my eight sixths. So when I take my eight six and subtract six six to make an extra whole, which by the way, now I have four whole bars or four whole pieces, eight six minus six six equals two six left over. So I'm gonna have four and two six. Now let me just slow down and show you here. So I had eight six. I took six six out to create a whole bar. So one, two, three, and then this is a fourth bar. And then here is my two sixths extra left over. So my answer is one, two, three, four, and two six. And then here is how you saw it, four and two sixths. Okay, so I'm gonna back up to my previous beginning examples and then try to connect the second type of adding whole numbers or mixed numbers with this. So I want you to go ahead and just solve this on notebook paper real quick. Press pause, work it, and um, press play when you're ready to check. Okay, step one is count all the whole ones. So that would be three and then three eighths plus five eighths equals eight eighths. Eight eighths is equivalent to one whole. So three plus one equals four, okay? So let's look at the manipulatives. Here's one and three eighths, here's two and uh, five eighths. So step one is add up all the whole pieces. Step two is add the little pieces. And eight eighths e is equivalent to one whole. So one, two, three, four whole pieces. Now, let's just pretend the problem is one and three eighths plus um, two and six eighths, just for a second there. So six eighths plus three eighths is actually nine eighths. Okay, all I did was add one more eighth to it. This is what my picture would have looked like. Okay, so naturally you would have to take eight eighths, eight eighths out to make one whole, and then that extra piece would have to go there. So if you had 9 eighths and you subtract 8 eighths that could make one whole, you would have 1 eighth left over, and that would be right there. So then my final answer would be 4 and 1 eighth. So do you see why you have to subtract 8 eighths or 6 eighths or, or 6 sixths or 5 fifths or 4 fourths or 3 thirds or whatever it is so you can get one whole piece out of it? And if not, then, you know, you just, that you make that your extra. Okay, I want you to solve this one on your own. Work it on notebook paper. Press pause or press play when you're ready to check. And then I'm going to go over it and also show you another possible answer. And I'm also going to use the manipulative so you can see. Okay, so if you were to solve this, first step is add the whole pieces. So that's three. Add the small pieces, so that would be 15 tenths, actually. I'm going to write that over here. Okay, 15 tenths. Now, if it, since it's in tenths, I'd have to take out 10 tenths. That would equal one whole, and that's possible. So that 10 tenths is my plus one, so that'll be four whole pieces. 15 tenths min minus 10 tenths equals five tenths left over. So four and five tenths is my answer. So let's look at the manipulatives. Step one, 
add all the whole pieces. So that would be this right here. Step two is add the small pieces, which is a large amount right here. So step three is to create one whole piece. So take out 10 tenths for that. So that's gonna give me four whole bars, one, two, three, four. That's where that comes in. And then the extras go to the side, so four fifths, okay? So I want you to notice that this leftover is equivalent to one half. So another possible answer could be four and one half. So be prepared, like, you know, maybe on assignments and tests, you do all this work and you're like, well, I don't see four and five tenths, but you see four and one half as an answer choice. You might want to pick that and go with that. Okay, I want you to solve these six problems on notebook paper and then uh, press play when you're ready to check. Okay, so let's go over these. So first step, add the whole numbers. So that's six. Add the leftovers. So two thirds plus one third is actually three thirds. So three thirds changes to one whole. So six plus one is seven whole. Three and two fifths plus two and three fifths. The whole numbers is five. The little pieces is five fifths, which equals to one whole. So my answer is six. Whole numbers is nine. Seven tenths plus four tenths is 11 tenths. I'm going to take out 10 tenths to add one whole here. 11 tenths minus 10 tenths equals 1 tenth. Sorry if that got a little cramped. 8 plus 6 is 14 whole. 2 ninths plus 8 ninths equals 10 ninths. 9 ninths equal 1 whole, so I'm going to take out 9 ninths from there and add that over here. And I will be left with 1 ninth. So 15 and 1 ninth is my, or 1 ninth is my answer. Next one, 4 plus 4 is 8. 3 fourths plus 3 fourths equals 6 fourths. I'm going to take out 4 fourths so I can add one whole here. So that equals 9. 6 fourths minus 4 fourths equals 2 fourths. So 9 and 2 fourths or 9 and 1 half. This one is 22. 4 eighths plus 7 eighths is 11 eighths. 11 eighths minus 8 eighths, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 eighths. So I'm going to add one whole here, 23 and 3 eighths left over. Okay, let's look at subtracting whole uh, mixed numbers now. Let's look at subtracting uh, mixed numbers now. Subtraction is so much easier than adding mixed numbers. So easy. I'm going to just show you like two, three examples, and then you're ready to check. So two and three fourths minus one and one fourth. Let's look at the visual. I'm not going to have two and three fourths and one and one fourth over here because that would have been addition. You're given your two and three fourths, and you need to take away one and one fourth. So it's that easy. Take away one, take away one fourth, you're left with one and two fourths. When you do this over here, same thing. Start with subtracting the whole numbers. So two minus one is one. Three fourths minus one fourth equals two fourths. My answer is one and two fourths, which is exactly what I got over here. Okay, let's look at this next one. Two and four fifths, fifths minus one and one fifth. So I have two, sorry, two and four fifths ready to go. And we're gonna take away one and one fifth from it. So we're gonna take away one whole, take away one fifth. I'm left with one whole and three fifths. So when you do this over here, subtract the whole pieces first. So two minus one is one. Four fifths minus one fifth, sorry is three-fifths, so one and three-fifths. See, subtraction is so much easier. Okay, I only have like a few more seconds left on this section of the video. I want you to work these problems and then check them. Here are the correct answers. 
Be sure to watch uh, the next video on the same teak. It's 